What's going on? Welcome to another episode. It's your boy D, Skinny P, and we out here from the Highlighter Compound. This episode, Ambelobies. Right here, we got Lemon Haze, Highlighter Chameleon Ambassador. Super dope, look at him. The pastel yellows on the face. Yeah. So Ambelobi is on the west side of Madagascar, which is where these are from. Ambelobies can be categorized into yellow body blue bar, red body blue bar, yellow body red bar. This right here would technically be a yellow body blue bar. I would put him as a Picasso or Skittles or Rasta. Since he has yellow underneath to the greens with the blue bar, red on the head and the tail. Super big for a panther chameleon. You see a structure, a little beast. So today we're gonna give you guys a little preview of our breeders. A little breeder profile, tell you guys a little bit about, you know, yellow body red bar, red body blue bar, yellow body blue bars, different shades of uh, barring and body color. Let's, let's head into the warehouse, all right? It's your boy, Skinny P. Yellow body blue bar by definition. Normally they're green at rest. When they're fired up, they're usually you know yellow and orange like this. The one you point right here. Also you see his rostrum, super pronounced. Um, that's more like the structure of a wild caught. blue bar aka rbbb my all-time favorite this one is about a year old all red and blue one of my main breeding projects perfecting the red body blue bar one thing i like to do make the lines more the bar more defined bring out the reds like right now he looks kind of merlot but when he fires up it's like a bright red and one of my new things is breeding red body purple bars tap in to learn about that one man. this is red dragon right here Newest addition to the highlighter gang. Wild caught red body blue bar. Just got this in from this uh, year's import. Because of COVID, there was no imports all last year. These were supposedly impossible to find in the wild. They're only found in captivity. Guess wrong. <laughs> all right, so a wild caught. I have yellow on the sides of the mouth right here. You see there. And compared to a usual captive bread, you can see the pronounced rostrum, really prehistoric-like. The long tail, if you see on the spikes, how they're kind of imperfect, that's just, you know, surviving the elements. I see some scarring here. I could tell it's not recent. It could have possibly gotten in a fight with another male in the wild. So the ones that make it over here, you can assume that they might be some of the alphas. People get wild caught because it adds new bloodline. If you technically want your own line, you need to get a wild caught. Obviously, you can get something from the wild. No one else has it. Duh. So next year, we're gonna have some dope red body blue bar lines. So make sure y'all tap in. Highlightedchameleons.com, you already know us. This is 
the one I gifted the Skinny P. I love the ones that when they fire up, their bars go black. Like there's something about like black bars that are super dope. He's like a rainbow pastel. Blues, yellows, oranges, reds. We'll have cams that are initially hella pissed, all about that smoke. And after you hold them, they recognize that you're not trying to eat them, they chill out. So you'll notice they start easing up. He's about to shed too, but you see like the red on the tail? But I love this dude. Now that he's chilled out, let you see how his bars are more just blue. It's your boy D. So. Okay, this right here is uh, our pastel breeder for Loops OG. Every shade of pastel. And his bars are like a purple lavender color. He's actually a half brother to Diesel who I showed earlier. So you kind of see difference in the dam sire or uh, the mom's dad. It changes the cam a lot. So breeding the same dad to a different mom has, you know, big changes in color. Personality too. <laughs> Blue face, baby. Plus good. In every clutch, you're gonna have like the Aber one, the one that doesn't look like either parents. And this one's it right here. Even the top of his head is blue. That's the dopest part about this cam in particular. I call it the Kamikaze. Kamikaze is when it has alternating blue and red stripes on the face. I like that red spine going around the back. And he has like orange bars towards the end of his tail. Blue face, baby. Yeah, I. another Guyaki ambassador right here. One of my current favorites, technically this would be a yellow body, blue bar, and Belobi. Cheetah Piss over here would be more like a yellow body, purple bar. You know, this dude's fire up game is too crazy. You see right here, the, even the oranges behind the neck, the nose is like a neon orange. The bars that has red underneath, blue on top, you know, and it makes a purple hue. Friendliest cam, but he for sure fires up at other boys. This probably is one of the nicest Amblobies you'll see right here. I like it when the barring is a little bit, I wouldn't say it's complete aberring. I like when they have the, the little bars, like like here, 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 here. It's the one right here. Highlight a gang, Guyaki gang. What's well, good? And we got Lemon Haze right here, one of my favorites. This right here would be, I guess, a Picasso or a Skittles and Belobi. Those ones I categorize are yellow, usually down here that fades into green the reds or oranges at the face and the tail. So they're kind of the Rasta color. This dude in particular, if you look at his structure, and he's a beast. Some cam is just built like a hog. He looks like he hits the gym, right? Like this, this dude's the homie right here. So Lemon Haze also would be categorized as a yellow body blue bar technically. But as you can see with the different ones I show you, some are real true to just yellow and blue. Some are more Rasta or Skittles, Picasso. Yeah, this dude's like built like a tank. Now, like on his face, it's like a pastel yellow. So when you get into breeding, you need to start breeding for certain shades of color, not just yellow or red. You know, you want a pastel yellow or the bars to be like a, a deep blue, cobalt blue, instead of like a baby blue, you know? Check out some of the juveniles. This right here is about a three month old panther chameleon. From this age, the dude has hella color. Uh, oranges, uh, blues, yellows. The thing about this dude, his eye turrets, as usual, I've said it before, it, contrasting eye turrets are my favorite. Ambelobies are supposed to have uh, Y bars. This guy right here has like an H. has like two lines right there. And his barring is dark blue, which I really like, rather than baby blues. 
And this is about the age when uh, I started selling my Panthers. And if you want to pick one up, hit up highlightedcommunities.com. Cafe and boy. Yee. Young Richie out. Yee. I hear yellow body red bar. One of the most underrated types of uh, ambulody. These ones are green at rest and they fire up yellow and the bars are red. With this one, it has blue bars at rest, but when he's totally fired up, it's just straight yellow and red. Cool thing about yellow body red bars, really dope greens. Like I honestly like the greens more than I like the yellows. Their scales, their skin looks super soft. And on the spine, it's red and white alternating. But I used to not like them because I didn't like anything that didn't have blue in it. Blue face, baby. You need a true yellow body red bar in your colony. Right now I gotta show a little love to the ladies. We got two girls right here. This female, standard color. This is what a girl usually looks like when they're not receptive or uh, gravid. Receptive means that basically in heat, they're ready to breed. This right here is gravid colors. Okay, gravid means pregnant, so after they get knocked up, they get black barring. Some people are like, oh, that looks super dope. And they do look super dope. After they breed, you wanna look for um, these markings. Girls can also show these markings when they don't want to breed. The purples, love it. The young red body blue bar, up and coming breeder. He has almost these coral pink set of red on his face and arms. He's about to shed, so he looks kind of ashy. So when they're about to shed, they look like they need some chapstick. After they shed, they look like a fresh tattoo. He'll lose those greens and be all red all the time. Another thing that what I really like about him, if you look at his limbs, the blue barring all down the legs and on the arms, I love that. The kamikaze of the arms and legs. We out here, it's your boy. Hope you guys liked this episode of Ambalobi. We learned a thing or two. For the next episode, we'll be doing Nosy Bay and Banja, and we'll get into some husband tree ones. What to feed your cam, when to breed your cam, how do you know your cam's ready to breed? Cam equals chameleon. And we'll do an episode on wild caught acclimation, all that good stuff. This is your boy, D, Skinny T. Hey, keep it locked and tune in for the next episode. We out. Know what it is. I like it.